Thanks for staying with us on the Sportsmax Zone. Over the years, fans have been voicing concern about the lack of support for athletes by respective Caribbean governments. Just two weeks ago, we here at Sportsmax spoke to the Vincentian 800 meter national record holder, Shafiqa Maloney, who explained the difficulties she has been having to support herself financially and otherwise in preparation for Paris 2024 Olympics. In a quick response, Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez, during a post-cabinet press confer conference or briefing, pledged his government support for the 25-year-old. This young lady on Sports Max, I listened to her, and I knew her and knew of her, and said to her, I said to Eloise, this young lady has gone through a lot. And she is deserving of the full support of the government of St. Vincent and Grenadine going forward. So Dr. Gonzalez joins us via Zoom now to further discuss his pledge of support. Prime Minister Gonzalez, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. We have spoken to you before on this show, but it's a pleasure to have you back on, sir. Welcome to the show. Good to see you, my brother and my sister and my other brother. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our Prime Minister, uh, talk to us quickly about the advances that you would have made in this project since you addressed Cabinet on helping Shafuiqa. Thank you. Let me, let me first of all um, say happy birthday to Shafiqa. She was 25 yesterday. At least that's what I've been advised. In fact, she told me the last time that the 27th is her birthday. So happy birthday, my dear Shafiqa. Um, we have made advance meant on two fronts, the governmental and the private sector, in terms of support. Um, there, there, there are two companies here. One, a regional company with a, a footprint in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and one company originating in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which has a regional footprint. Both of them have responded quite well. Um, and they, are, they have made arrangements to provide support in addition to support provide to be provided by the government in fact last week at cabinet um we approved a sum of money to be sent to shafika and also to handel roban you may be familiar with him he, he, he an 800 meter um runner he was in um he's at university in pennsylvania he was at jamaica college on, on a program there and um, the, the two companies, I can name them. One is the, the Vincentian company with a regional footprint, Eastern Caribbean group of companies, which is a flour mill, rice mill, and um, animal feed mill. And Correa's, which is a, a branch, a local branch of the regional um, company, the regional conglomerate, um, Goddard's, out of Barbados. And uh, I spoke to the chief executive officers of both companies locally here. And their vital sent resources are today in the process of sending because they, they, were, they were making all the relevant arrangements, go through all their governance arran arrangements to make sure that they secured the, the, the requisite approvals. And uh, in the case of the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I was in touch with Shafika's agent in St. Vincent, um, whom I know personally. She's a friend of mine. And the requisite arrangements have been made. I've received a budget from Shafika for the period from now until the end of, of August. I've been sent also uh, the, some details on the immigration situation mm. and we are working at that you know it's easier it's easier to 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 provide financial resources than in fact to to get past some roadblocks in the u.s immigration system yeah and have you having said that pm um, before we talk delve deeper into the entire issue um you can confirm that the visa issue is still being worked on so she will for sure miss the world indoor championship in glasgow this weekend um i, I believe that she'd miss it i don't think that 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 matter has been resolved as yet mm. but when i had spoken to her um on the last occasion i didn't get 
to speak to her over the last couple of days. I, I just got back from Guyana last evening from the CARICOM meeting. Um, the, the, the matter had, had not yet been resolved, as far as I was advised. If there is any um, update which is better than that information that I have, well, then I'd be very pleased to hear it. Uh, so, so, so that's the that's the situation. In fact, you, you know, my my brothers and my dear sister. In in the case of Shafika, even as a young lady, and I say I've been I've known her, I've been involved with her since she was thirteen years old. She first came to my attention by someone from Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. She was a coach in Jamaica, Michael Oliver, the father of protege. Uh -huh. Lord of mercy. Um, the Lord have mercy. You, you know the you know the brethren. You know the brethren. We yes. we know him well. <laughs> you know the brethren. Yes. Actually, he's 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 my family. Mm. Oh, he is. We, we we are blood we are blood relations. Mm. So 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 don't 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 tamper with I and I. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we we as I have told persons in the in in. Shafika is a classic case that the, the, the stone that the builder has rejected has now become the head corner stone. Prime Minister, my question is, you know, based on the situation, and to me it was a heartbreaking situation to, of course, sit down and listen to her interview because I was off the show for that particular day. But, of course, listening to the interview, to me, was a really, really sad situation. And, of course, even Shafiqwa was almost close to tears. My question to you is, how do we ensure that, you know, athletes, it doesn't reach to this level where they're on international television talking about things like this? And what will the SVG um, government, at least as much as you can do, put in place to ensure that, you know, the athletes at least get some sort of help? I, 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 I want to give you an example of something. Yeah. And then I will speak generally and also specifically, okay. if you permit me. Yeah, sure. And, and, and in, in an exercise of this, we have to be both critical and self-critical, and to be honest and straightforward with everybody. That's, 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 that's the way how I know to do it. We send the number, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, various entities in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Send a number of athletes, for instance, to J.C. Foster, your, your college in Jamaica, for athletes training as coaches, some as athletes, um, developing athletes themselves. And last year, I think the government itself sent two persons. Last year, I was informed purely by, because of my, the ease of accessibility to me. One, one athlete called, one student from J.C. Foster telephoned me and said, look, 14 of them are about to be closed out from their examinations because of arrears of monies. I said, what are you talking about, 14? Individual coaches or entities had sent these people, not the government. Yeah. And they had, I contacted immediately the director myself and gave the assurance that whatever the arrears, the government of St. Vincent will pay. It turned out to be 180,000 US dollars. You, 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 sometimes some coaches, some organizations send people to places. Yeah. And if you don't tell me, if you don't have it through the system, I'm not going to know. No, I'm not saying that this is the case with Safika, but I want to answer because you, 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 your question, I'm answering you in an omnibus fashion, and I drew the, draw an example here. I repeatedly been saying on the radio when I meet the coaches, when I, 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 I meet everybody, I said to them, look, the associations, please, for heaven's sake, Tell me when you're sending your students, what arrangements you're making. Don't do them on your own because you're more than likely would end up in grief, difficulties and problems. And I don't want to see that happen to any of our 
people, especially our young people. Now, as I had said in 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 um in in that um, statement I made, it wasn't actually after a press. It wasn't after a cabinet meeting. I was at the cabinet room. I I, I had some young people and some principals with me from my constituency representing um celebrating 30 years uh, of, of my representation in my constituency and i was giving some money to each of the schools in my constituency from my own pocket and having done that i then proceeded to to speak to the issue of shafika in late sep in sometime in september 9 um, 2022 um, Shafika had reached out to my office. And naturally, I sent this to the Ministry of Sports because she sent a budget with, with a significant number. I'm not saying it's a, a number beyond what is reasonable for an athlete for the first year. In fact, it, 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 it was not out of the, the ballpark. And the answer that I got back after the Ministry of Sport had consulted with the various entities, is that she was, for at, in, in their opinion at the time, not deserving of support. This is why I say that this is a stone that the builder rejected. Mm. And I'm not calling names of any association or any person in, in, in the country. But clearly the assessment which was made was a faulty assessment. And if I'm not correct in stating that it was an incorrect assessment, what this young lady has done, going through all these difficulties, these trials and tribulations, when I heard about it, when, 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 when my wife drew it to my attention the morning after, because I didn't see the sports max, um, interview until she drew to my attention. My immediate response is that she's deserving of support. And, and one of the things that I say all the time, when so, look, this is a 24-year-old young lady, now 25. God has given her a remarkable talent, a remarkable gift. She had gone through some difficulties and through all these challenges, she has emerged as a beacon of fresh hope. And when, when, when people go through the fire, so to speak, and they, they, they come out steeled, those of us who have been around, those of us who have lived more years than we have remaining left to live, that we have to put our hands out and help these persons. But it is evident that not only in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but some other Caribbean countries, there is an insufficient or inadequate interplay between sporting organizations and coaches and, and governments. Um, there are lots of blame to go wrong, and I don't want to start to throw those things in, 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 at my stage in life. I don't want to do that kind of a breaking up um you know there is a there's a beautiful poem um which i had recited to shafika when i spoke to her written by daniel williams a poet from my country now dead an extraordinary human being entitled we are the cenotaphs said we are all time yeah only the future is ours to desecrate the present is the past and the past our father's mischiefs. You may be pleased to know that the poet didn't say that it's our mother's mischiefs, just our father's. <laughs> um, because perhaps, like me, many persons, in, as in my case, though I had a fantastic father, my mother fathered me. So the mischiefs we put at the feet of the fathers. And I'm hoping that both in relation to Shafika and... Um, and uh, Handel. Handel Rubin. Yes. And, and others too. A um, lot of mercy drew uh, my attention to, um, 
to another case in of Vincentian in St. Kitts, a young lady um, who is there as a student in St. Kitts. Look, you know, in the case of Shavika, I, I, I think, and, and this is why the structures are important. We can't do this thing, brethren and sister, in any ad hoc manner. And we 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 have to do it in a in a carefully structured yes. order way. If if Lord of Mercy, if, if the, the link between Lord of Mercy, between Michael Oliver and Shafika had not been quote unquote strained or ruptured after she had left St. Kitts and went into the United States, this probably may not have happened because there would have been a link yes. between us in a personal way. But yeah. these things shouldn't depend on personal links. Yes, I, must, I agree with you, Prime Minister. We, we, we have a lot more to go into on this issue. We have a break. Um, we will come back and continue this discussion uh, on the other side of the break, Prime Minister. Thank you very much. OK, back with more on The Zone. And uh, Prime Minister of St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Ralph Gonzalez, after this. for staying with us on the Sportsbank Zone. We are speaking with uh, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and we are discussing the attendant issues relating to the Shafiqwa Maloney situation. Remember, she had an interview with us here on the Sportsbank Zone where she detailed her issues as she prepares, her difficulties as she prepares for the Paris Olympic Games. Subsequent to that, um, support was promised to her by um, Dr. Gonzalez and the St. Vincent and the Grenadines government. Dr. Gonzalez has said to us here today that uh, some support has already been sent to her and uh, some other support is being worked on in the final stages. And uh, yeah, she should have that pretty soon as well. Um, but we've also expanded the conversation now, Dr. Gonzalez, and I note that before the break you said that this cannot be done in an ad hoc way. And I'm very happy you went there because that is exactly where I wanted to go and ask the question, is it time that St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and by the way, this is not just for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I think this is for many countries across the Caribbean to now formalize the way that athletes, and I use athletes as a general term because I really mean sportsmen and women, that we formalize the way that assistance is given to them. And I ask that question because if a formal system was in place, then we would not have been left in a position where a determination needed to be made as to whether Shafui Maloney deserved assistance. If the formal structure was in place, then it would likely say, once you are at Olympic or World Championship qualifying standard, then you are eligible for this level of support. If you're within this range of qualifying for an Olympic or a World Championship, then you are entitled to this level of success. Um, and you could possibly have tears um, to that support system. Is it time that we get there and have you as the Prime Minister and as a government started those discussions as to how you are going to get there? Well, you, 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 it's like you were inside my cabinet room just over a week ago and we were talking about this thing. I said there has to be a clearly articulated policy and it has to be connected also to a, a kind of activism um, grounded in good governance within the organizations themselves, the, the, the athletic association, the, the football federation, the, the, the 
the Swimming Association, um, and all the various entities which, which, which govern sport. Because you see what happens, as you, as you probably are aware, these sporting organizations rightly guard their own independence jealously. But often, that is used to have just a handful of bureaucrats assuming suzerainty in those organizations and for prolonged period of time. And they have the links with the regional and international organizations that it becomes almost an occupation and a, and a way of life and living for them. Live, living off the high off the hog, so to speak. No. I don't have to interfere with your business internally. But surely, it cannot be that the separateness must be such that we have a suicide pact and that the only people or the main victims of that suicide pact are really the young people. And the suicide pact, I'm, I'm using it in a metaphoric sense. Yes. That, they, that they're the young people who 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 suffer you know there are certain aspects of what we do in st vincent and grenadines in a formal way first of all we have a policy if you if you play a sport for st vincent and the grenadines at the national level you must either be at work or you must be at school and i can't know all who are at work or at school, if the associations through the Ministry of Sport don't tell me, don't tell us the government. So that's that's the first. There, there are other, um, I'm not going to talk about building up physical facilities and all that. I'm, I'm, that, 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 that we can talk about that otherwise. I'm talking about the issue which we are currently addressing yes. and which is important that we focus on. Yes. I, I make sure that those who excel, even young athletes, my government makes them sporting ambassadors with the privilege, sporting, and the same thing in culture, with the privilege of carrying a diplomatic passport. Yeah. You know what I'm telling you, brethren yeah. and sisters? But Prime Minister, before you go on from there, for the purposes of this discussion, I want to separate specific government support from support of associations. Because we know each individual association connected to a world governing body will get a certain allocation that they will use to run their associations. But uh -huh. then specifically... Wait, wait, pause. Pause there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the, remember I talk about the good governance in those associations. Yes. Reports come to me that there is much opaqueness and lack of transparency as, who, as to which association gets what money from which source and how that, uh, how those resources are applied or distributed. Yes. That's why I said I don't want to get in your internal business. Yes, and I don't want to get into internal business either. But, Prime but, but the point is this. But yes. the point is this. The point is this, my brother. Yes. Clearly, it can't be that you separate yourself in such a way that you that you have such a a wall of separation that in our own isolation from each other, we have essentially what I call a suicide pact. <laughs> we, we 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 clearly have to have a proper meeting of minds. And then that is complicated too, because we are free and democratic societies, not like in some more centralized systems, where you have individual coaches. And and the coaches can be so can be so idiosyncratic as you are aware. Yes. And sometimes they 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 don't want anybody to encroach on their their terrain or their turf with their athletes and they will make their arrangements because yes. the association is this or the association is that. I, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with some of that. 
in, 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 in GE. I, I am familiar with a lot of it right across the Caribbean, not just in Jamaica, but I do want to separate that, though, because I think that is something that we will eventually take up with the governing body for athletics in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, but I really want to zone in specifically on the government support and whether the government specific support can be formalized in such a way that an athlete and, and, can go on a website and say that, okay, given my performance, given my time, this is the type of support that I'm entitled to I, I, I and can you. apply for through the government. I, I, I agree with you 100%. But what happens, the things are not separate, they're connected. Mm. Even though they're distinct for analytic purposes, yes. in operational terms, like for instance, somebody comes to me or goes goes to the minister of sports the ministry of sports the ministry of sports may not have all the data if you see what i mean my brother they have to go to the association yes this, what what really what are the what are the recent performances of um of of this or that athlete yes to see whether in the in the guidelines you're suggesting, and I agree but, with you. But independent committees can be set up to find that information, though, Prime Minister. You, you don't, yes. I hear you, I understand it. Yeah. You may feel it's best to go to the individual associations, but the sports ministry can set up independent committees that can help to, to get and analyze that information. I, 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 I really would love to see that whatever structures evolve, yes. rising out of what, what we're talking about, that the Ministry of Sports can work in a more seamless manner, concerned really with one thing only, yes. or principally the development of these young people as finished personalities to excel in whatever skill at the sport they have, and beyond that, that they will have meaningful lives. Because I don't want to see people in their glory years. And after their glory years, they live essentially, glory years as athletes, that they, they live in some kind of a genteel poverty, or worse than genteel poverty, absolute, absolute penury as we have seen in some circumstances in our Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah, so I want, yeah. I want to see these individuals yeah. as, 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 as finished personalities yeah. in every material particular. Yeah. In other words, not, not, not all of them going to end up in, 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 in as, as champions already for me. I will tell you this. This young lady, whatever she does between now and the Olympics, for me, Ralph Gonzalez, personally, not as prime minister, she's already a champion for me. Yes. Because what she, the adversity she has come through and to have performed as well as she has done, admittedly early in the season, this is something remarkable. And this, this young lady, shows a strength of character she shows a determination and i believe that that is what is going to s-t-e-e-l her steal her <laughs> for going ahead because she has something also to prove yeah she has to she 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 will i think she she has it in her to show people look you know, you 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 think I couldn't make it? Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you didn't have the confidence in me. You didn't have the the, the faith in my ability. That's why I, that's why I quoted just now from the Psalms. You know, the stone that the builder reject become the head cornerstone. I yeah. didn't say it. Prime just Minister, so you... we're, we're fast running out of time. Really that's sorry for cutting Gregory. you, but we're fast running out of time. That's and fine. I have to get in this last one before we go because we have only about a minute. Um, but there has been an influx of uh, Caribbean and African athletes 
at the high school level, the under-20 level here in Jamaica. You spoke about the athletes that have been sent to GC Foster College. That is the tertiary level. But St. Vincent and the Grenadines, one of the leading nations in terms of the number of uh, overseas athletes that compete in the Jamaican high school system. In fact, as, as you may well be aware now, Amal Glasgow is one of the favorites for the Class 1 boys 400 meters at Champs this year. The, he's at Kingston College. There's Devon Rick yes. Mack at Jamaica yes. College. Um, you spoke about Handel Roban, who went to Jamaica College as well. And there are yes. many others who, yes. who are in the system or have come through the system. I want you to talk to us quickly about how you feel about this development and a lot of your best and youngest talent um, being sent to Jamaica for development and whether there is an eye on one day being able to adequately develop your own athletes from that junior level? Well, as I, as I see it, this Caribbean community is one. Mm. If Jamaica, and not if, Jamaica has shown that in athletics, it has particular facilities, it has a certain track record, it has an infrastructure. And while we are seeking to build ours, why not take our promising athletes um, once we have the proper support and, and for them to be protected and, and, and maintained in good order in Jamaica? And I have no doubt um, with, with great love and caring fine and that we can work with one another and advance them while at the same time developing our own infrastructure and infrastructure here not only physical infrastructure but the infrastructure of coaches and and, and the type of support systems we don't have the the, the 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 number of private sector companies which may provide support and we may not have in some of the schools what you do have in Jamaica. I mean, I lived in Jamaica for, for many, many years. I, I spent um, seven years of my life in Jamaica. So I know, I know the land of wood and waters quite well. And and I don't... What happens in Jamaica is like what happens in um, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I, I, I think of us as, as as one space. So I would like us to continue to work in a collaborative in a collaborative manner. And I'm very happy to see these young persons going to KC and JC um, or any other schools, and of course, at the post-secondary level at GC Foster. Yeah, Prime Minister, thank you so much. By the way, you were at Irving, weren't you? Oh, please, never, never, never. I'm at, I, I mean, why do you want to offend me after this magnificent <laughs> interview? I, 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 I'm a tailor man. Oh, you're a tailorite. I'm, I'm a Taylor Wright. Oh my gosh! When I was president. When I was president, it's of not the... Chancellor, but okay. No, well, actually, I lived on Block X in Chancellor Hall when I became president of this the, the Guild of. It makes a lot of sense now. You got some of the greatness, my friend. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Do not the bell. Do not the bell. <laughs> Prime Minister, we're out of time. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us I'm on from, the Sports Friend Zone. Come from. Come and look for me in St. Vincent, man. I will. I will. And when you come, when you come, make sure if you're coming around Easter, bring me some bun. I have cheese. <laughs> bring, bring me some Hannah Tongue Bakery bun. <laughs> All right. All right, Prime Minister, take care. Let's take a break on the Sports Mag Zone. We'll be back. So much more to come.